we're going to be using these solar panels, this battery, and this solar charger to power our stay fix 30 mile fence. Hello, my name is Tyler Buck, founder of Sensible Soils. If you find the following video helpful, you enjoyed it, anything, please subscribe. It really helps us out. If you live within our delivery range, please visit our website and sign up for local fresh eggs and fresh produce delivered to your doorstep every week. If you don't live within our delivery range, please share this with people you may know or people that might live within our area. Anything you can do helps us get our message out and helps us make this world a better place. That red light is the blink of death. So we use a 12 volt battery here to charge this stay fix. And unfortunately, this is a small amperage battery. It's about 30 amp hours. And what we're doing is we are picking that battery up every time it dies and we're moving it back to the house to trickle charge. So these solar panels were originally used for our hoop house. That's over here on my left side. This hoop house was originally using a double layer poly. So we use a fan and that fan would inflate the second layer of the poly and that space there would give us some insulation. So our designs weren't strong enough and the actual top layer of poly moved too much and tore. So the top layer fell down. So rather than trying to fix it this season, I focused on designing something better for the future. And what we'll probably end up doing is acquiring a actual full greenhouse, larger capacity, that would probably cost comparable to what it costs us to put this thing together. So these solar panels were charging one of these chargers, and this charger was actually connected to our 120 amp hour battery. And once that battery was connected, we had that hooked up to our DC fans, and those DC fans were enough to keep the plastic inflated. So what we end up doing for these solar panels was we built a frame of two by fours. Again, I keep a lot of two by fours around just in case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that closer to the fence, make sure we still keep our southern exposure. And from there, we're going to then hook this up using wires from our panels to here. This is our actual solar charger itself. It takes the high wattage that's being outputted from the panels, transforms it into a 12 volt signal so we can take that 12 volt signal and then connect it to our battery. Once we connect it to our battery, our stay fix will then connect directly to the battery and that will be what powers our fence going forward. You can hear the noise over here, it's the birds. Birds are after me. They wanna see what's going on. We have our 120 amp hour battery here. Our solar charger. And in our case, our positive line from the solar panels We've connected this with just a standard wire nut, electrical tape, so there's no shorts or anything else there. Go into our white wire. And then for our neutral, same thing, but with our black wire. So as soon as I get the right screwdriver, I think we're set now. We need to make sure we are plugging in to the solar symbol here. Our battery is gonna come off the bottom here, battery symbol. And this third one here is actually a light. And what that is, is that allows this controller to make sure that the battery does not get drained too much and damage the battery. In our case, we will not be using this as the stay fix, stay fix 
fence charger has the microcontroller inside to prevent battery damage. So we're just going to ignore this and solar is going to go in here, battery is going to come out here, and then our stay fix will connect to our battery. So this is our solar neutral. Make sure we open it up enough. Stick it in there, make sure it is deep enough, and we are just screwing that in place. And then we are repeating with our positive. Same thing. Not quite open enough, so we're going to open it a little more. Get it in there. Afterwards, we're going to connect our battery side. Using the same approach. This time, what we want to do is make sure we are connecting our battery here. Same thing on the bottom. So we can pull out so we weren't quite in there enough. So make sure you go deep enough with these wires. Give them a little tug afterwards to make sure that they are in there far enough. Does not feel like we're still in there far enough. Let's unscrew this a little more. Same thing for our positive. You see, the lights start coming on. And now we are able to start measuring where our sun is at. So you can see these two 100 watt panels are currently bringing in about two amps. And that's coming in at 13.7 volts. And that's normal. On a 12 volt battery, you can go up 13.7. You could go as low as, I, I believe it's somewhere around 11.5 before your voltage is dropping off too much. Let's go over the wiring here again. We've got positive, 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 and that connects to our red wire. We have negative to negative and our negative here goes to our negative wire over here. So these red wires connect into a single harness and what's nice about the these solar wires is it's not possible to reverse them and put the wrong flow in. And I'll show you what I mean. So there are, these are your two connector types. You can see. It's always a circus. Always a circus. So our red is actually a male connector. And our neutral, our black, is a black connector that is a female connector. 
So these are actually complete opposites. So when you wire these together, it's pretty much impossible unless you are working with unpigtailed connectors to screw these up. So make sure, if this is your first time playing with panels, do yourself a favor, make sure you are using ones that come with connectors already attached. So our last step here is we're connecting the alligator clips onto the battery itself. Now remember, if you don't have clips, you could connect directly into the lights here. There won't be any damage, it's just this controller will uh, prevent dropping your voltage too much on the battery. The voltage drops too much, the cells can actually be damaged. In our case, we're not going to do that because again, our stay fix works perfectly fine and it has a controller there to prevent that from occurring. So, red to our positive, black to our neutral. So we're going to box this up, close it up, and hook up our electric fence. We're all set here. Chargers on the bottom, panels are on the top. The only thing we'll probably want to do is reinforce this and actually stake it down to the ground with some rebar. We'll do that at a future time. In the meantime, I'll show you the stay fix. So the stay fix, wires come straight out. One comes, connects to our hotline. One connects to our neutral. On the back side, is actually where these wires come in. And those are the same wires then that follow in and connect into our battery box. Battery box keeps everything dry, so we make sure we put all of our wires in there that we can. So our last step here, turn this charger on. In our case, we've traditionally done the sun one. And if you hear it, maybe you'll see the light too, you can hear it. Or those skinnies are squawking loud in the background. Okay. Tick. 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 And I'll see if I can show you the lights here too. So we've got green lights there. Oh, green lights there. And that battery is getting charged by these panels. We got good sunlight today. So hopefully that battery will now and the panels will now keep us charged as long as we need to. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe below. It really helps us out. If you live within our delivery range, please visit our website and sign up today. We'll deliver fresh eggs and produce to your doorstep once a week. If you don't live within our delivery area, please share this with your friends or family or anyone that you know that may appreciate what we're trying to accomplish with regenerative organic farming. You can also support us by purchasing merchandise. A portion of those sales go to us and help us get our message out into the world. Again, this is Tyler Buck of Sensible Soils. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great day.